Hello, Maturaji. So how are you today? It's been a while since I've done a BL News game segment on my channel because I want to talk about this game that I recently discovered like a couple of weeks ago called Ved not red velvet i'm gonna keep saying that so many times in the video oh my god why they have a name that very similar to to those hot k-pop girls what the f they are the same people who brought us new carnival this game is on a platform called arrows lab and they're the ones who made the new the new carnival game very popular very successful i'm definitely gonna play that game on this channel but i want to talk about this game because i love the character designs and i love the colors like uh, i'm a huge fan of tech wear and like um cyberpunk design and, and aesthetic so this really caught my eye and i love how everybody's color coded yeah they got color coded skittles hair my favorite look at all these cute guys well this one's a girl um which you know it's, it's fine she's cute but i wish i wish this one was like a flamboyant feminine guy instead it'd be kind of hot yeah so this game was launched like a few weeks ago on july 7th so it was their their launch and i think you get like a, a special type of deal or bonus if you play the game and um yeah i want to go over the the games the character and what the story's about so you can follow these people on you know twitter or x <laughs> facebook they got their own Facebook page. Oh fuck, I gotta put my password. I'm not going. Come on, going there. Fuck it. <laughs> and whatever the fuck this is, at plurk.com. Is that a pig? I, I don't understand. Oh uh, well, if you guys can be Japanese, you guys can go in and check out and interact with people. It looks cool. Oh, and by the way, this is not sponsored. I, I just want to share the love of BL games to the world. So let me start. So yeah, this is their Twitter. Yeah, I, I am following them, as you can see here. So yeah, the game was launched on July 9th. It's cool, like, I like that. Okay, Vel Velvet React is officially released today. Please enjoy your daily life in the waterfront canto with all with the members of the special organization board. Wait, so we, are we in the canto region? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, <laughs> that's cool. Let's see the news segment. So this is their, what do you call this part? I forgot. Um. I don't know, menus. <laughs> so we got the news, the characters, of course, about the characters' background, their story, or whatever. The system, I guess, like what system you guys can play on, maybe on PC, mobile, PS5, I don't know. Special, I guess, like special, like bonus, like deals, or like special um, game rewards you guys can do. And you can download it here. I, I think it's free. I don't know. And over here, this is the language section. This is Chinese. I guess this is simplified Chinese. Uh, this is probably like Mandarin. And this is obviously Korean because the circles <laughs> or something. Um, I don't speak any of, you, any of these languages. So if you guys are part of that country, go go put it in your language. Oh, okay. So they changed this text down here, not the, the, the whatever. So uh, yeah, I cannot read this shit. What the fuck does it mean? Oh wait, so if I'm gonna go back to this because I'm curious, like if I change it to a different language, will they speak, let's say, like in Korean or in Jap? Oh, well, obviously Japanese. It's a Japanese game. Are they gonna speak in Korean if I choose this, or like Mandarin or Chinese? Like I'm, I'm very curious. So let's go back to the news. So yeah, they launched on July 9th. That's cool. Yes, they launched the game on Arrows Labs platform. Again, that's where New Carnival is. And duh, the characters are amazing. The fan art is gorgeous. I should talk about the history of like the, the success of New Carnival because I want to play that game so fucking bad and I cannot wait. So yeah, so we're going to be in the waterfront Kanto region, apparently. So we're going back to the Pokemon world. I cannot wait. I want to be the Pokemon master in my hot tech wear. Yay. <laughs> That's cool. And they got special updates. They've been doing it. They've been doing it for a while. Like, you know, like maybe like, maybe like tweaks of the game. Uh, character information has been updated. Uh, then you can visit the VX velvet <laughs> whatever <laughs> so then we have released information of two below characters haruhi nagaharu sakuha ebizon please okay so i guess they made changes to their backstory or their names i guess so yeah th this is the information page where you guys get, can get updated on what's going on like the characters information or like maybe they make tweaks to the game, um, special updates, and yeah. So let's look at the characters. So we got the first Skittle boy of the day. We got this green Skittles called Walter. Why are you named after the, the annoying guy in Fresh and Fit? I hate those guys and the podcast is so annoying, ugh. But yes, he is voiced by Tenho Itsuka. Oh my God, I love black and like their signature color is green and it, it makes the green pop. I guess when they're fighting, I, I guess the green color would glow whenever they fight, which I love 
love that in tech wear and, and cyberpunk stuff. Like the, the main color glows within their clothes and I love it. So he's like a, a duo wielding gunsmith, which is kind of cool. Oh, uh, and look at all his chains. I hope he doesn't get caught by something that will, you know, distract him from his duties. <laughs> so his age is not public. Okay. His birthday is not public. All right. That's kind of weird. His height is 175 and his blood types is not public. So wait, what the fuck? Like you're working for an organization. I'm pretty sure most jobs, even though this, this world is fake, but in the real world, you have to put it put down your information i mean not your blood type because nobody nobody fucking cares about that unless you're applying for a, a doctor's office or something i don't know but like it's kind of suspicious that like you won't show your age or your birthday is it that illegal to like hire minors which I, obviously he's not a minor he's a grown adult but like you won't show your age to people so how are they gonna hire you and trust you to, to to do the job well enough for them to like pay you better if you're not gonna show your age i don't know but he's obviously an, an adult just, just by looking at him so this is his backstory. The third and also the newest model of humanoid that created by Sahuha Ebizom. I guess that's like the, the, the creator of the organization or the scientist. The official name is H13MOR type, Jesus Christ, JP00003. No wonder your name is Walter because that shit is way too long to, to remember. <laughs> Walter is the first Jap Japan's humanoid that was assigned to work in the field. He is extremely calm and can handle everything comfortably. <laughs> he is freaking calm. Can handle everything comfortably and acts according to his sense of justice. But before being sent to the Japanese branch, he was trained in all aspects, but is occasionally awkward in socializing with people. Oh, he's an antisocial boy. That's cute. Oh, he's like, fuck it. I'm gonna wake up, work, kill, go back to sleep, and do the same thing over and over again. That's his routine. Okay. So he's calm, he has no, no emotions. Okay, so he's not a robot, but a humanoid. So that means that like, he's like a half human, half robot. Okay, okay, so now that makes sense. Like, that makes sense of why he doesn't have an age, because he's not a real person. But like, that makes no sense to me though, because like you're half, let me, wait, let me look this up. I'm very curious. Because you're supposed to be half human, half android, right? Have an appearance in the characteristic of a human. Yeah, humanoid is a non-human entity with human form or, uh, yeah. Okay. By the 20th century, the term came to describe fossils which were morphologically similar but not identical to those of the human selection. Skeleton. Okay. Uh, okay. So, but like, you probably resemble somebody in the real world, like a real person named Walter. Unless they like kidnap him and then they turn him into like a, a killing machine robot. That'd be kind of interesting and kind of sad as a backstory. Huh. But yeah, these are the rest of the boys I'm going to look over as well. These are their character profiles. I love it. I love the colors. So that's cute that he's very socially awkward so, cause he's not used to, you know, being around people and talking to them. I can see him having like a monotone voice, like being all serious and like being all boring because he has no personality besides working, <laughs> besides being a workaholic a lot. So he is a hot killing machine and I love his boots. I love his outfit. I wonder if when he's like fighting, like the fight scenes, like the green parts of his clothes are like glowing. I, I would love that. That'd be so cool. So these are the voices. Okay. Let me hear what he has to say. I love his voice. He's like monotone, very serious, sexy as well. So I guess like the voice sample, he's reading off of this text right here. I will aid and protect humanity. That is why I was created. Aww, but like you must have like hobbies or like interests or things you, you want to do besides work. I feel like later on in the game, like he starts to like feel human emotions. Like, oh shit, like I just, I'm just a workaholic human, well, humanoid machine that kills people for work. He doesn't know why he's the way he is. He just created to like do the job for this person, Saku. Sakuya, um, whatever. I guess that's like either the, the company's president or the scientist that created these people. He might develop emotions as he interacts with his coworkers around here. Maybe they might give him a sense of humanity into him or <laughs> like, hey, you know, you don't have to like be this way all the time. You could be happy, do other things. You don't have to work for the company just just because you, you were told to. You, you could just do more for yourself. You know, that, that'd be kind of cool. Like, like a character development. That'd be interesting. All right, voice number two. Let's see hear it uh, 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 uh. you shouldn't hear this i'm sorry <laughs> <gasps> 
Whoa, I guess, okay, the voice samples, voice one is like him talking normally, like, you know, reading the text. Voice two is how they, how they sound when they get all hot and heavy with the characters, you know, him trying to be, you know, frisky with these, with these characters, I, I, I guess. Like, damn, that's very mm, sexual. I don't know if I can put that on YouTube. Oh, okay. That was kind of interesting. We get like a normal voice sample, a hot and heavy sample of him fucking it with the characters and then the CG. Let's see. public unless we're inside a vehicle okay like a car or a van like okay maybe oh he's going guys so can i show this i don't even know like oh shit he's giving him some service and he's like enjoying it and blushing okay so yes guys this is a bl game don't okay if you guys don't, don't like that shit get out of my channel don't play the game but if you guys are into that shit please download it this is not sponsored I want to give the word out to the people and be like, hey, this game is fucking cool. I love the, I love the design. These are the characters. They're hot. Like, give this game some love. They deserve it. They work so hard to put it out to the world. And like, yeah, play it. But that's so cute. And like, oh my God. <laughs> if that's how it's going to be, when I play the game, I don't want to spoil myself with the CGs if I already saw it from the from their website. But I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, Walter. Like, you're so cute. Oh my god! I can see him like learning how to like you know have intimate interaction with the characters, um, like getting all like intimate with them and like that'd be kind of cute. He's learning how to love somebody through his coworkers, and that would be a cute experience for him to like to learn like to learn about that emotion. Like it's good to work a lot, but like not really. <laughs> it's not good to work a lot, but you need to like have time for yourself. And by self, I mean like, you know, satisfy yourself in any means when you're alone or you can satisfy with somebody else that's really fun and emotional and beautiful. Like, that'd be cute. I love his guns. Like, oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. So that's Walter. So next guy, we have Kyoyasuo. And he's 25 years old and he's voiced by Kanade Mie. Wow, he is muscular. Look at him. Look at him muscular body physique oh he's like the red character he has a gun that's so cool i love his jacket he got belts he's into like bondage okay nice boots oh he's the red ranger oh okay. birthday is may 4th his height is 177 177 centimeters and his blood type is O. like oh god like you you are too amazing for me to have your blood sample like oh <laughs> and his text says again why do i always get caught up in these in these things so i guess like he's used to like being in like weird situations that he has to cover for his teammates around here and he gets annoyed by that i guess <laughs> he looks so serious and cool i love him he's so tall so this is his backstory before entering the japanese branch of the special organization ord suo was a soldier of the air self-defense forces special assault unit a S D F S A U. That's so long. He can operate any cra aircraft. Sue was originally aiming to become a police officer, but was tricked by a talent scout from the army. Oh no, that's sad. Who involved him in taking the Japanese Self Defense Forces exam before the police academy exam started? Oh, that's so fucked up. Which made him a soldier. Sue is the youngest in his family and is often bullied by his two sisters who have bad personalities oh no a bad family home and you've been like tricked by a talent scout oh that sucks dude oh his dream was robbed from him because these, these niggas stole him from his normal life just to be in the army that's scary and sad no way so basically it was happening two exams were happening in the same i guess day but since they already took him and like forced him to be you know to become a soldier he has he, he has to take their exam first and he made it in damn like by accident i guess that's sad are you 25 oh you have emotional family issues oh no and he has like two shitty sisters who bully him why bully him for what like having a dream or uh like or being tricked by these scammers because like shit can happen he was trying to be a police officer and like save the world i mean you're still saving the world but like not on your terms because this is not what he wanted he wants to be a police officer and that's sad he must have a really bad tragic backstory so let's hear his voice 
。またか。なんで俺ばっかり事件に巻き込まれるんだよ。Okay. Um, honestly, though, I don't like his voice for this character. No offense, Kanade Mie. You are amazing. You sound hot and cute. But... またか。なんで俺ばっかり事件に巻き込まれるんだよ。Actually, I don't even know what he, what he looks like. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> Oh, he did! This guy? Kind of named Mino? Oh, he was him in Sinatra has quit? What? He voiced this character? No way! No, is this true? Wait, hold on. Ay, ay, ay. Hold on, hold on. No, wait, that's the character named Kanade Mie, but, but this is Kanade Mino. This is the actual. Okay, what? What do you look like, dude? Come on, let me see. <laughs> what the fuck?、Uh, okay, it's not showing me what I want. Ah, spoilers! Ah! Okay, anyway. Yes, his voice does not match his appearance at all because he's 25 years old and he sounds like an 18 year old. Like, it doesn't really fit him that much. He looks great, he looks hot, but like, he's more suited for like the younger type characters if that's the voice he's gonna provide for him. That voice should be for this guy because he looks young, you know? And the, Or this guy. They look like the youngest people in the group. I was hoping for him to sound like older and have like a deeper, manlier voice, but it's hard to like bypass. The, the high pitched voice because it doesn't really match him at all. But he looks great. I love his character design. He looks very tall and muscly. Like, look at, look at those like, muscles on his body. He got the two pack, four pack, and a booby pack right here. Oh, let me put my face in your chest and, and go. <laughs> It's so cute. Oh my god. Okay, voice two. <laughs> he's so. Okay, he sounds very flustered when he's having an intimate moment with, you know, Walter. And he sounds. <laughs> he sounds confused, like, oh, why this happens to be? Like, oh, I don't want to do this, but, like, you know, you like this. <sighs> Again, like, I wish his voice was meant for a younger character. It doesn't really fit him. Like, he's older. He's I think he's the oldest so far. I don't know. I mean, I think this guy's older than him, maybe. I don't know. Like, you're 25, and you still sound like a, a teenager. Like, it doesn't really match. I don't like it. I like you as a person. And Oops, you shit. Oh my god, I just hit my leg. I like you as a character. I like your personality. I mean, I don't know his personality. Yet, but I like your appearance, but your voice does not match. CG. Oh, they're still doing it outside, but it's his turn being the top and he's in the bottom. He's like, oh my god, I'm getting blasted. He's like, don't worry, I've never been loved in my life with my family. They hate me. I want to be loved. Like, oh, he has a big, wide back. Oh my god, this is amazing. They're doing it in the same spot, too. <laughs> I love that. So, I guess he, he he was probably raised in a very bad family home because he has two shitty sisters. I guess they're old, older than him. Oh man. So, where his parents? Like, do they know like what he's been up to? Like, did he tell them that, like, oh, mom, dad, I've been scouted by, uh, I was tricked by these talent scouts to join the army, but I don't want to be there. I want to be a police officer. And maybe they probably like treat his dream like garbage. Like, okay, you want to be a police officer? She would never make it. Like, they probably like shun him or like shame him for having a dream like that of becoming a police officer. Maybe. I don't know what type of family he was raised by. Maybe he came from a rich family. It doesn't, it doesn't really say. I think he's like love starved or whatever. Like, he's looking for love, but his parents don't give him that or his sister because they just shit it on him. He's not following their footsteps of becoming whatever. They want him to be. I feel like bad luck follow, follows him everywhere. Maybe that's why he said this. Like, why do I always get caught up, caught up in these situations or whatever these things? I think he's the type of guy who gets easily manipulated and tricked by other people because maybe he senses that they're good people, but like, you know, not everybody's good in the world. If they are evil people who, who can like, Trick you, which he got, which he has been through, and manipulate you to, to do things that you don't want to do. Ah,、uh, like, I feel bad for this guy. He's gonna have a very, very sad, tragic backstory. Oh man, I feel bad for you. No. But wait, so can you, like, I guess you can't quit this type of job. I feel like he probably like, told the, 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 the principal, <laughs> the person in charge of the company, Suhuha, whatever, like, hey, I was not supposed to be here. This is not my line of work that I want to do. I want to be a police officer. I bet he was trying to beg the person to like, leave because like, this is not supposed to happen. He didn't want to become a soldier. Because, dude, being in the war, being a soldier suck ass. So I bet this guy has so much trauma going to the war. 
as a as a soldier. Oh, that's sad. And I bet they can't make him leave because maybe he signed a contract that says like, you know, you can't leave the army because you know too much about our information, our business, so you, you have to stay here forever <laughs> until you die. No! <laughs> he loves bells. He's he's a very kinky guy. Alright. Cool. Please let their clothes glow when they fight. That would be so amazing. Um, it must suck to be the only guy in the family. I mean, you have a dad, but maybe he doesn't have a, a lot of bonding experiences with his dad. Maybe his dad is also an absent father and doesn't care about him. Maybe they're busy with their job and stuff. That's cool. He can operate any aircraft. So you're very skilled. At least your, your talent is going to use. Okay, next guy. <laughs> The blue hair, ooh, traditional Japanese sword wielding, stereotypical boy, Hari Mizu, water type boy. His name is Miyabi Suyusa. I love your long hair. I am in love with you. Oh, yeah. He got the traditional Japanese kimono and the sword, of course. Oh, I love, like, whatever this is. Okay, that's cool. I love your hair. He looks like the serious type. Okay. He is 24. His birthday is January 16th. His height is 174 centimeters and his blood types are AB. What does that mean? Like AB blood type? Like you're extra awesome? I don't know what that means. Uh, God fucking damn it. Can I highlight this so I can see what it means? Because I don't know my blood type, which is obviously bad. <laughs> I need to know, but I just never cared. Okay. AB blood types are identified by the presence of A and B antigen on red blood cells. Okay, what the fuck? Uh... Whatever, I don't care. So, uh, this guy, I sense a serious aura from him. Cause he, cause in anime, every blue type character are cool, serious. They love, they love organization. They love the rules. Standoffish too. Very uptight. I can tell by his look. And he's a good swordsman cause, cause of his stance. All right. So, Suyu. Okay, he's voiced by Sho Miyabi. <laughs> Hi. So, Suyu. Kalusa's father is a police officer. Oh, you too? His mother is an instructor of Japanese fan dance. Oh, so yeah, he got some traditional family bloodline within him. I can tell by his clothes. Suyu Kusa, uh, I keep saying his name wrong, has served in the public security agency. He has a clear head and is good at intelligence work, such as planning operations and safety plans. Yeah, so he's good at organization. He was assigned to the special organization award at the same time as Suo. Oh, Sukuya handles things strictly with the rules and believes everything should come after the rules. He loves order and <laughs> rules. Okay. I wonder if he, if he could use his mom's techniques of fan dancing within his combat skills of the sword dance that'd be interesting i wonder if suo is probably jealous of him because like he came from a public security agency like a police i guess agency not really jealous but like it, it'd be kind of cool if they have like a bonding moment in this in the game like you know his dad is a police officer and then suo wants to become a police officer so maybe he might ask him for advice from his dad like hey can you tell your dad like i want to become this i want to leave this this army for good i want to be a police officer how, how did he make it to the world and he's younger than him okay yeah they could bond over that uh yeah he, he's very strict he's a strict character and he loves the rules <laughs> he's very obedient <laughs> He don't want to make anybody mad. He wants to stay by the rules and stick to it. So he said, I must prove my, to myself why I'm here. Oh, like he's trying to prove that himself okay oh so maybe he chose to be here to prove himself maybe towards his parents like hey i'm i could be a good soldier don't disrespect me maybe he also has a has a sad backstory like trying to live up to his parents expectations like suo but suo failed at it because he'd been kidnapped by the fucking scouts and he ended up as a soldier by accident which is sad oh oh let me see the cg Okay, I gotta block this out. Oh my god, it's so hot. Oh, he's like on top of him, the blue guy. Oh, he looks like the guy from New Carnival. The the blue haired guy that Eric is comparing to um the guy in like Genshin Impact, the guy with the blue hair. Why am I forgetting his name? I know his name. Edmund, yes, that's his name. Yes. His CG, like I can't really show it because he's like he's like on top of the of Walter and he looks so flustered and embarrassed. He reminds me of Edmund from New Carnival. You know, blue hair, they're very like strict and serious but like deep down they're very soon today and shy and like they, they want that shit so bad like it's so cute like oh my goodness <laughs> oh, every tough guy has a soft spot within them oh, if you can find it within him like i love that oh he has a, a different personality 
you, but you know, behind closed doors that he doesn't want anybody to see, and that's kind of cute. Aww. Okay, I'm very curious about his second voice, his hot, sexy, I'm gonna slam into him voice. <laughs> 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 he was going in really hard. Okay, that's a little too much. Um, sorry, you can't hear that. Only for me. Yeah. Again, I love male characters with long, beautiful hair. So sexy to me. I love his traditional Japanese stance, his clothes. I think, wait, the male version of a kimono is Hakuma, right? I don't know. Hakuma ki... Mono male. Oh, Hakama. His clothes was inspired by the Hakama, you know, the milk kimonos in Japan, which I really love the inspiration from that. That's so cool. And whatever this is in the middle, that's so Japanese. And he has a sword. And then, yeah, I think he wants to like prove his himself. Like he could be a strong soldier in the army. I guess he chose to be there within his own will. And his parents will probably like approve of that. But Suo parents, like, I don't, they didn't even really talk about, like, his parents. Like, just his sisters have, like, bad personalities. But, like, what about his parents? Like, do they really care about him or, or what he does for a living? Because them two, they could really bond over, like, police stuff. So he's really, really smart and good at his job because he does intelligence work, whatever that means. I guess, like, computer work, like, hacking stuff. Oh, it's just, it, it said it right here, like, planning operations and safety plans. So, yeah, he's very organized and keeping things in order. Next is the green. Minty Green Boy. He is Aito Hisui. Oh, he's the hacker. Okay, yeah, he's the youngest one. What do you call these garter belts? Like thigh garters? Like all the young boys in anime wear these, so you can tell that he's a young character. And he's 19, like obviously. Birthday, March 22nd, blood time A, height 163 centimeters, and he's voiced by Yu Asagi. Oh, he's stuttering. Oh, I, I will do my utmost to support you, support all of you. Oh, he's a hacker. That means he's very anti-social as well. Well, he's very introverted. Oh, I can see them bonding because they're both like introverts, you know? Maybe. But let's see his backstory. Hisui was a normal, normal employee at a general company, but he is now an analyst of information processing in the Special Organization Ord, affiliated with the first class of the Special Investigation Department. Okay, yeah, he's like a hacker. He is skilled in video, video analysis and is able to collect, analyze, and recover information from street AI. Oh, is that a real street or like a, another another company? He is also the basic engineer of the Special Investigation Department. Since Walter was assigned to the Special Investigation Department, Sid, I guess so, history started to support Walter's physical condition by monitoring Walter. Mm, how long have you been checking out his body then? <laughs> Since you're monitoring his his condition, his wounds, like how long you've been staring at it though. He is a shy person. Yeah, I knew it. He is a shy person and is always acting nervous. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, because he's studying a lot, so he's he's obviously a shy person. Oh my like hunter. Hunter, I will avenge you. Don't worry. I will make things good between us. I I will fix this. Don't worry, guys. Ooh. Okay, he got the little whatever he's called for young boys. Well, he's not really a boy, he's 19, so he's a young adult. Okay, yeah. So he's allowed to bang this nigga because because he has no age and it's okay, it's okay. Whatever. Oh my god, he's like a computer nerd. He's so cute. Wait, can I get close to his earrings? Like, I want to see his earrings. Oh, flip. I can't. Uh, okay, I, I could try to see it, but he has like a little like earpiece. There's like a wire that's glowing like mint green color into it. So that's pretty cool. I want to see his earrings and clothes. Aww. I want to hear the sexy voice, but I'm scared I might get banned on YouTube. <laughs> I, like, I just want to hear it so bad. Oh my goodness. So he's a computer hacker nerd. Look at him. He's so good at his job. He's a shy boy. I bet like in the story or in the game, like you can see him like doing his job, operating the stuff, uh, operating on the computer. Computer, like doing things to help Walter out in his job. CG, please. Ah, okay, bye. Okay. Woo. No, he has a fat ass. Yo, you think from this distance, like he he looks thin, but in the CG, he has a big round ass, and he looks shy as well. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so cute. 
So what is Street AI? Like the, a rival company or or his AI friend, like a name Street AI, that's something. And he's an engineer. Oh, that's a lot of work you're doing. He's like analyzing, collecting, coding, and he's an engineer. Damn, pay this boy, man. He, he is like the heart of the fucking team. Like we need this nigga to mess up everything for the rival company and like save lives with his brain. So he monitor him. Like in what way does he have to take off his clothes so he could check out everything? Of course he does and like get horny about it. Like, oh my gosh, like Walter, you're hurt down below. Let me fix that for you all. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell about his stuttering. That's so cute. He has a little cape over here. Oh, I love it. He's adorable. Next guy, the yellow character. I can tell he's very flamboyant. Like, um, very like a playboy that's that's the word Ooh, but I, I love his color oh i love yellow so much long hair long medium sized hair like a mullet oh i love the the gold and the brown mixed together so he's a gun wielder too Ooh, i love i love his shoes oh Oh, there's a tattoo right there on his stomach. Oh, it's like a, a vine with thorns. Okay. His name is Rail Omni Man. No, he's not. Omni, Omni, Nash, Naishi, Omni, Naishi. <laughs> Voiced by Subido Murano. Oh, how old is he? So he's 25 years old, same like Suo. Okay, his birthday is September 5th. His height is 183 centimeters and his blood type is B. So, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Fuck that, I'm not saying his name again. Rail was a police officer in the in the public security bureau. Okay, why is every nigga a police officer but not him? <laughs> it's so like sad. Like y'all bragging about your fucking like job and he he did it and he couldn't become more Omni Man was a police officer in the public security bureau of the Kanto Home Ministry Police Affairs Bureau. Why is everything needs to be so long? He has the talent of not forgetting people's faces after seeing them once and is skilled at facial recognition and investigation. Oh what the fuck are you do you have like a of uh, computer eyes or something? What the fuck? He was born into a wealthy family. Oh, so you're wealthy. You don't even look like it. I thought Sua was wealthy. Um, I guess not. He was born into a wealthy family with Japanese and London float parents? What does that mean? Float oh, parents? <laughs> I'm, what does this mean? Not the fucking movie float the movie. What the fuck? Oh, I guess float parents mean that his parents are traveling to two different countries, both Japan and London for work, so that's what floating means. Okay, I get it. He is a party animal with wealth, talent, and beauty, and always has fun with many women. Uh, yep, I knew it with Playboy persona right there. I could tell. He is a person who values friendship. Really? I don't think so. And is all and is the one who always and is the one to always get angry first with when his friends are harmed. Oh, he's a playboy. He care about his friends. Okay. All right. So he's the rich one. He doesn't even look like it. Okay. Oh, I guess he brought his way into the organization. Like, hey, I give you a lot of money for my parents' business. If you let me become a police officer, maybe that's how he got into the organization. He's a party animal. You can party in this game? <laughs> oh my God. He must seduce a lot of women and sleep a lot of women. But you're gay though, so you're here now. Let's be hear what you have to say, Mr. Rail Omni Man. This tattoo is all uh, uh, I do want to see your tattoo. Put your pants down, please. Because it looks like a gun. Let me zoom in. Uh, I think I can zoom in. Okay, yeah. It looks like a gun, I think. And like a a, a rose thorn. Like a vine. All right. I, I'm very curious. Like, why does he want that type of tattoo? Hmm. Damn. I love his boots. <laughs> I guess he has a lot of guns in his, in his belt. In his pockets. All right. CG. Let me see. Oh, it's loading. It's like, you sure you want to do this? Okay. <laughs> oh, so fucking hot. He looks satisfied. Oh, he has a piercing. That's cute. Oh, that is adorable. Oh, he's making him breathe hard. Okay, so he knows what he's doing in the bedroom. That's that's high. I love his hair. I love the color. Yellow is my favorite color, as always. 
Uh, he got the knee pads glowing. Oh, that's so pretty. I uh, very slender. Oh, he has ass. Mm, one, two, three. Uh, I guess four if you consider that part ab material. So I guess he's like what, like half Japanese, half from the UK, Ukrainian. Because <laughs> his parents float from different countries, so I guess he he speak fluent British. <laughs> something <laughs> and he parties a lot oh my god but like you're joining a special force army like are you allowed to party i don't think so do army people party comment down below for people who who's in the military or army do you guys party are you allowed to party and stuff I, I don't know like i feel like you guys have like strict rules and like strict curfew and like you guys have to like you know train a lot. The military army is like its own world to me. Will I ever do it? Fuck no. Y'all don't need me to save the world. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna do it. I am not gonna save the world. I'm not gonna do it. If y'all dying, good luck <laughs> in the video game. <laughs> so he has a talent of not forgetting people's faces after seeing them once. So like, you must have a really good memory. Wow. I wonder if he remembers every single woman he in the game. <laughs> like, yeah, I know her. We did this in, in, in my house one time. Oh, I, I did this girl because we were at a bar and then we'd be fucking the bathroom. Oh, I remember her. Like, we we, we ate outside and then we, we, we was like fucking behind, behind the trees. Like, I... <laughs> That's kind of scary. It's kind of scary to me. Like, he knows your face. So he's very useful, but also his skills are kind of scary. Like, if you get on his bad side, like, he will recognize your face and come after you, like, in the middle of the night with his gun. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, I guess like when he like, I guess break into like a, I don't know, like a building or an organization, like they might have like a, a security code where you have to, you know, either use your fingerprint to like get access to, to the building or face of recognition investigation. So I guess he can like remember who was there during that time when they try to like get into a building, they, they use their face to like get access to the building and he could like, I guess, memorize it and like use it to his advantage to like use their face to get into a building. That'd be kind of interesting. That's cool. If that makes sense. I feel like I'm rambling. Like, I feel like what I said was backwards, like whatever. I feel like he, he lived through life through his parents' money. Like he could do whatever he wants because he's hot and he's, he's talented and he's wealthy. He could get anything and everyone to do his bidding. Mm, I don't know. It's fun while you're young, but down the line, like is that gonna last long being the way you are? long term you're gonna be very depressed <laughs> and miserable like oh all these women like me for my face and money they don't care about they don't care about my skills like what is wrong with me ah, i got the easy life and i hate it <laughs> so yeah i i love his colors like it's, it's my favorite so far now we got the charmander orange dude koshiro yamabuki Ooh, voiced by tsubasa Kuzai, hey, oh, he's a puncher guy. Oh, nice, I love his arm, like mechanical arm stuff. Okay, a lot of pockets um, for like guns, I guess, or something. Oh, he's like a freaking like ground type Pokemon. <laughs> my muscles are looking as perfect as always. Oh, he's a muscle nut. Oh my God, I can see him going to a gym 24 seven. He's a gym nut, no. So he is 28 years old. Oh, so he's the oldest. He don't even look like it. Compared to Suo, he looks older than him. What? In year 28? Birthday, August 2nd, height, 185 centimeters, blood types, B. You're the oldest? Okay. I, you don't look like it. You look like you're 24. Anyway, Yamabuki enjoys showing off his muscles to others and believes that everything can be solved with muscles. No, uh, not all the time. It's like the braids over bronze type of thing. Like, you can have the muscles, but you could, but you need the brain capacity to, like, do the technical stuff. I mean, that's why we got, we got this boy right here because he's good at computer coding and everything uh whenever he has time he can start training his muscles anywhere he, and he will practice wrestling with his colleagues uh, why <laughs> we get it you got muscles whatever although he hangs out he hangs out with omni omni nashi every night for women <laughs> So you do care about other things other things besides your muscles. Okay. He is calm in serious situations or battles and is faithful to orders and instructions. Yamabuki um, was a re regimental wait, regimental commander in the land of self-defense forces and um I'm um, um, why? On amphibious rapid deployment regiment. What the fuck does that even mean? So you you have skills, okay. So you're not just like a, a, a gym nut. You, you you do like other things besides your muscles. <laughs> but wait, you're using these these mechanical like arm stuff. Like you're cheating though. Shouldn't you use your your pure power, your pure muscle to like fight people? You're basically cheating because you have like enhancements on your arms. What the fuck? 
Do you really care about your muscles? What the fuck? Okay, let's see what he sounds like. Okay, I know you're 28, but again, they don't even look like their age when they sound like that. That should be for Suro. That boy should be for him. Okay, you're 28 years old, but you sound like a fucking 40 year old man. Okay, Subasa, you you sound hot. You sound amazing for him, but like. You're better off voicing, I don't know, cause you look young, like he doesn't look like his age at all. What the fuck? What is your routine though? I feel like the voice does not match his appearance. You know, he's the oldest, but he sound older than he looks. But I do like his arm like enhancements. It's, it's really cool. CG. CG, let me see. Oh, wow. It's getting Stevie up in here. Like, he's there at a sauna somewhere. They're very sweaty. Uh, he's also so flustered. And he's, like, enjoying it. Um, the orange hair guy. Uh, oh, he's piercing cute. Oh, yo. They're, like, in a sauna somewhere. He's like, yo, do you like that? Mr. Krabs, like, mm. <laughs> Like, on, on Walter's back. Like, oh, he's so hot. Stevie, damn. Okay, me next too, please F me up as well. <laughs> God. This is a weird side note about me. I don't like when like characters have like their own signature colors. I don't like repeats of the same color. Like he's like a dark green, he's like a minty green, he's like a light orange, and he's like a regular type orange. Like I like to have each character to have like one color each, not just two of the same colors but in different shades. It really bothers me. That's how I am. Like, can we have like a another color for for him and like for him as well? I don't like having characters characters having the same color but in different shades like it's it's just it just bothers me i don't know why maybe it's like a, a weird thing i have but anyway next we got another young boy oh he's 22 years old so he's like the youngest one he's 19 and he's 22 okay all right tenry nero and he's voiced by shingo aiba oh oh he's like an archer type guy okay that's pretty cool Cool. I love the colors as well. I love his his pants, his jacket. I want to wear the jackets, man. The jackets are so fucking cool. Oh man, can somebody cosplay these characters? Oh, I would wear not this every day because like, that's kind of weird. Um, I would wear I would wear his jacket, the orange one, the dark orange guy, Tenry. I want to wear his jacket every day because that's look fucking amazing like, like a casual wear type of thing that's so cool he's good at shooting he's 22 years old his boy birthday is june 12th height 168 centimeters and his blood type is b so now it's time for neo's backstory neo is a technical support who supplies ammunition and maintains machines he is well versed in all kinds of weapons sometimes he also provides advice to ebizome uh, Nero is, is an atmosphere maker with a mischievous and happy personality. Oh, he does look happy, yeah. Although Omni Man, Yamabuki, and Nero are widely known as the Three Womanizer. What? <laughs> the Three Womanizer? Him? Him? This guy? And of course, him? Y'all fuck around together with women? What? Okay. In the special investigation department, unlike the other two, he has a particularly low success rate in picking up girls. Ah, because you look too young, maybe. Haha, <laughs> sad. But good. More for me. I have you all to myself. <laughs> he trains his muscles every day in, in order to become a, a handsome man who is popular with women. Oh, he's very insecure about not picking up girls, women, whatever. Oh, don't worry. I love you. You're very cute. Aww. <laughs> Oh, okay, that was, that was fast. Okay, I can fight if I really want to, but my main job is to support all of support you all, so that's what I'll do. Aww, don't compare yourself with these losers and these idiots. Like, there will be a woman out there for you who loves you for who you are and your personality. Okay, don't give up. I love you. You're cute. Aww. But he's trying so hard to, to be liked by women. You find somebody, okay? Don't worry about these two. Let them do their own thing, whatever. So he likes weapons and he's well, well versed in them. Okay. Ebizone. I think this is her, right? Is she Ebizone? Oh, okay. Oh, she's not that. Okay. So I guess Ebizone is like the, the company leader of the organization. So he's a machine type guy. Oh, okay. So him and this guy probably work together to make like, you know, advanced machinery and stuff oh or maybe he was the one that that helped him build this for him that 
kind of cool. Like he made the arm enhancements just for this guy. Oh, that'd be amazing. CG that I will block after this. Oh, oh, he looks worried. Why? Oh, he looks nervous. Oh, <laughs> Damn, Walter, your butt is out there. <laughs> He looks so nervous. And, like I can see him like stripping his clothes off, and he looks very worried. Like, oh, I hope I don't hurt you. It was my big, my big bullet. <laughs> he was so worried and scared. Oh, your first time. That's cute. Okay, okay. Next, we got the only female of the cast. Her name is Haruhi Nagaharu, and she's 18 years old. She, her birthday is April 18th. Height 160 centimeter. Blood type zero. Oh. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> Blood type O. And she says, I'll fix this with my amazing voice. Oh, she an idol? What? Oh, she got the idol, like, um, the idol lighter thing. What would you call these? I forgot. So she used her voice for combat. That's pretty cool. Again, I wish she was a guy. Nagaharu was assigned as a technician of information and communication technology in the third class of the special investigation department. Wait, that's a guy? He is skilled in special community. Yes! You're a guy! Wait, 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 I gotta hear this. So she's voice. Wait, what? Are you trans? No, nothing wrong with that. I'm okay with trans people. Nothing wrong with that. But you're voiced by Ba. This person is voiced by Ba Ashita. But you sound like a girl in your voice sample. But in your backstory, they say he. Are you misgendered? Oh no, you better sue this fucking company. <laughs> He is skilled in a special communication and negotiation and shines mainly in kidnapping cases. Oh, okay. That's scary. Nagaharu was scouted by the Special Organization Ord when he was studying in the police academy and currently he is directly under Ord. So you've also been kidnapped into this place? What? Nagaharu clearly understands how cute he is and because of this, he often uses his cuteness as an advantage to take control of things. What? Oh, so so you are a guy, but you sound like a girl. Okay. Oh, okay. You're very feminine and cute. I love that. Okay, I gotta hear the voice. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. You're going so hard. <laughs> okay, okay. What? I'm very curious of the CG. How do you look then? Oh, yep. That's a guy. Yep. No boobs. I see nipples. Okay. Flat chested guy. Oh wow. I I honestly thought that th he will sing in battle because he said he will he will use his amazing voice to like I guess like hypnotize his opponents. Cause he has the glowing idol sticks right here. So I thought his skills like is like singing and like making people fall asleep or like hypnotize them. That'd be a cool like talent. Oh, so he's good at ne negotiation. I suck at that. I, I can't do it. I get nervous. <laughs> what the fuck? It would be so interesting banging this guy because like are you gonna sound like a dude like, doing it because like his cg he has like you know no boobs he's legit a guy and you know what i'm happy i'm glad i thought because you know this character is pink you know pink is a stereotypical color for for girls like i thought this person would be a female but like i'm glad that this is a guy i'm so happy because you are fucking cute like, I love feminine guys in video games and anime and stuff. They're so cute and hot. Like, I love it and fashionable. It's so conflicting. Oh my god, you're confusing me! Yeah! How did you become this way? I'm not saying that in an in a offensive way. Like, how did you become very girly and, like, stay like that? Because I like learning about the history of, like, characters in anime. You know, one minute they're a guy and the next minute, you know, they, they transition to a girl because they, they love cute things. They love makeup. They want to look cute and be called cute by other people. People. They feel confident about it, but maybe his family probably hates him for the way he is because he's very girly and his parents don't see him that way. You know, they raise a guy, not a girl. And maybe he felt, you know, lesser than from his parents because they don't treat him the way he wants to be treated, like, you know, a girl. I wonder if these little sticks are like weapons. That'd be amazing. Like, like idol weapon, um, thingies that's <laughs> so cool and last but not least we got the purple guy oh you're sahura ebizome oh he looks like a final boss with, with, with that thing on his back the wings that's so cool oh ebizome is the head of the research research department in the special organization org he is a he is the creator of walter and also maintains walter when he breaks down his main research theme is how to improve the humanoid so that it become highly capable and efficient 
He also created various devices and weapons when he processed his research. Ebizom is usually cheerful, but sometimes he also acts like a weirdo, often in a way disconnected from his from common sense. Often in a way disconnected from common sense. So you're the fucking overlord king. And the way he looks and the way he's smiling over here, he looks like he could be a final boss. <laughs> what the fuck? I love your weird wings. <laughs> You're the creator of Walter, and he's 26, his height is 176 centimeters, his blood type is A, and his birthday is November 7th, and he's voiced by Akira Kaneda. I believe in the future humanoids will create. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, AI nowadays is getting more advanced and scarier as we know it, and I I don't know what the future will hold, but like I hope it's not a scary place to be in because it's kind of scary of how fast things are progressing in the AI universe, and like, yeah. This might happen to us in the future, guys. Like, we, we might get like robots taking over the world. <laughs> I rather have that to happen than the, than the zombie apocalypse, okay? Like, I don't care. <laughs> cool gloves, cool outfit. Okay, I really thought that each person was a humanoid, so I guess only Walter is. Oh, so everybody's human, okay. Because the way he sounds, like, his voice sounds very, like, mischievous and, and, like, a mystery. Like, he seemed like he's planning on something, like, maybe to take over the world with his humanoid project. Because I feel like he might turn Walter into, like, a, a destructive device that will, like, you know, murder these people in the end, if I play his route, like, he would definitely become like a murder machine and, and kill all his his friends along the way. Cheerful. I feel like if you see this guy get mad, it would be like so scary and like, ugh. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, daddy. I didn't mean to break your stuff. Like, don't hurt me. <laughs> uh, CG, please. Oh, uh, he gets to bang his creation? Oh, finally. I mean, who wouldn't want to do that? <laughs> what? He is banging Walter. <laughs> in the control room or somewhere. And that's funny. What the fuck? <laughs> Walter's gonna have a good time with, with these people. And he's so lucky. Dude, like, what the fuck? That's so funny. I love it. So these are the characters and I love every single one of them. I love their character design. I love the CG where they're all banging Walter. It's so hot and funny. Dude, I, I love this. I want to play this game. It's so cool. Now for this section, the special. Oh, oh they got a movie. Oh, oh okay. Well, uh, all right. Um, um, I guess we, oh, I guess we see how interactive they are when they get all personal. Uh, okay, 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 oh, let me see this. Oh, they got a character introduction video. Yeah, so they posted this on their Twitter page, and I saw, like, like some of it. It's, it's really cool. Is it loading? Hello? Uh, uh, it's kind of wonky. Oh, now, now it's working. So this is Tenry Nero. Okay. Ah! It's loud. Oh my god. This is Henry and it's buffering. Oh, I hate it when it's buffering. Please stop. Uh, okay. It's not really showing much, but like just the background and words that words that I cannot read. So this is Tenry. Oh yeah. His name is similar to Tenny from Agolis 7. Uh I, it's not really working that <laughs> Oh. oh wait, is, is it gonna show him? Okay, bye! <laughs> what the fuck? This is crazy! Okay! This is cool! Oh, they got the creative interviews! Ooh, water debris, cast interview. Oh, that's so... I'm very curious. I hope it's sub. Okay, oh wait. <laughs> so we get the interviews for each character from their voice actor. So Ba Ashita is being interviewed for the game and everything. So the question they ask him, the, the game developer, is like, is what is attractive and appealing about the character you acted? And the voice actor, Ba, said, Haruhi Nagaharu's special ability is to manipulate his voice, making making both man's and woman's voices as a negotiator. Oh, that's what he meant by like, he'll fix things by using his amazing voice. So he, so he could change his voice. Oh. Also, he is strong even though he is so cute. He behaves like an older sister or a precaution his younger sister but he carefully observes people and easily find good poison of others oh he's he, he's a voice changer oh interesting dude become an idol man you got the fucking idol six like use that as a weapon as well that'd be freaking cool but also become an idol what so we get like special movies of the characters in their in their sexual habitat <laughs> 
that interesting. And we get like the introduction videos as well. So down below we get like the creator's interview. Oh, so we get like the the interview of the person who sing the theme song of this game. S per it's a f per. Okay. So he sings or they sing the theme song Water Debris. And we also get the cast interviews of the voice actors for the characters, which is pretty cool. I wanna see, but like I don't wanna be spoiled by by the characters like you know root story okay i'm not gonna read that much because this video is probably over an hour already but like i want to see like what questions they answered oh okay so we have the interview for walter and the question they asked the, the character i mean the voice actor is is how do you feel when you were offered to design oh wait this is the uh, the character designer for the game oh wait i want to see this red velvet not red velvet the girls like the vet act uh, whatever so this game is a bl game are there any points you you conscious of when designing the characters and the costumes for a bl game yeah and the the designer uh gear wait a minute wait a minute i know this person i followed him on twitter oh <gasps> wait i know this person is it who i think it is <gasps> oh my god it's this person I love their art so much. Go follow this person, you guys. They are the best. They make the best Yuri on Ice art and other uh, character art I ever seen in my life. Th look at this. Oh my God. I love this person. And I think I saw them one time in Anime NYC, I think like two or two years ago, I think. I think it was Anime NYC, like 2020, 2022 or something. I don't I don't remember, but I, I'm pretty sure I saw that person in, in Anime NYC two or three years ago. I love their art style so much. Oh my God, they created the characters? What? I didn't even recognize their art. That's crazy. Gears, I can't believe Dude, everybody, please support this creator. They have the best art ever. Oh my God, that's amazing. So they asked them, how do you feel when you were offered to, to design game characters? They said, I got too excited. Check my email again to see if this was really for me. I have worked with many app games, but a BL game was news to me. Oh, really? Wow. I thought this person does like BL like, uh, cause their art is like very like detailed, so beautiful. Look at this art style. Like, oh my God, it is so fucking hot. Oh, so detailed and the shading is so good. Ah, oh, so fucking hot. I love this person. I have always been a huge fan of sci-fi and future futuristic fantasy with military concepts. So when I heard about the concept of the game, I couldn't believe my eyes. Yeah, man. And they asked him, um, Velvet React is a BL game. Are there any point of you conscious when, of when designing the characters and costumes for a BL game? They said, I aim to provide them with environmentally adjustable clothing. I believe they needed to adapt to the environment in various ways according to their world setting. Therefore, when designing their costumes, I ensured they were suitable for all kinds of situations and various uses with just one outfit. Oh, so the outfit can change depending on the environment, if that's, if that's what I'm interpreting. By incorporating features such as a opening zippers or sleeves, the clothing can be worn lightly, while locking the zipper and wearing sleeves allows it to be worn as a uniform. Oh, that's cool. So they can adjust their clothing. That's really interesting. I like that little detail. Also, I consider various textures. For example, snipers who must spend long periods on their knees have clothing designed with hard materials. Yeah, yeah, like, um, I think like Rail has like, 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 has like uh, knee pads and he's a sniper so he has to like be on his knees most of the time so that's a really that's a good detail for the characters wow whereas characters who engage in close range combat have clothing made from from lighter materials to enable quick movements since each character has a design designated color i designed them to be easy to remember and draw yeah i loved their colors so much Additionally, they they are easy to take off. Oh, I love that! That's so cool! Wow! I didn't even realize that's the, the illustrator for the characters. What? Oh, I'm embarrassed that I did not figure that out. Oh my god! Congratulations, Gyrius. If I'm saying it right, Gyrus, Gyrius. Like, dude. Again, guys, please follow this person. They have the amazing art, and this is their the link tree. 
Go follow this person, please. I highly recommend it. The art is so amazing, beautiful detail, good shading. So yeah, this video is very long. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end here. I'm very happy that this game is real. I'm happy this person is a guy. I am I can't believe it. You, you could change their voice to any gender they want. That's cool and hot as fuck. I love the character designs. Gyrius, Gyrus, you did amazing, you did great. I love it. Yes, play the game, guys. Well, Velvet React, not Red Velvet, the girl group. <laughs> Even though their music is, is banging and I haven't heard their, their music in a long time though, but they're they really, you know, talented girls. Follow them too, I guess. And you know, this video is not sponsored. Again, I want to share the love of this game, Velvet React. I would love to play it in my channel in the future. Definitely keep a lookout on my on my channel. Follow me on my social media. Follow this the, the creators of Velvet React. This is this is their social media accounts. Follow their Twitter, their Facebook. I'm not logging in. Fuck you. I will link it down below. This video is not sponsored, by the way. But yes, I'm so happy. Like I'm not I really want to play the game. Sorry, Hunter. I might have to put you to the side for a minute because this game is peeking out to me, and I'm so fucking excited. Comment down below which character is your favorite design-wise. I like the yellow one. I love him. The design is my, is my favorite. I love yellow. My favorite color of all time. They all look great. That's it for my video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Because I, I don't know what to say after this. Because I am like stalling for some reason. Which I'm not really stalling. Okay, I gotta stop rambling. Okay, I gotta go. Okay, bye. <laughs>